hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be about me installing my wig and i will also be giving you guys a quick review on the wig so far so if you want to see how i got this look keep on watching So this unit that I'm wearing, it is called Alyssa, and it is from Bobby Boss. It's a lace front, it's a Swiss lace. It is in the color MLF3304, um, and in the color 1B. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this, so. I purchased this wig from wigtech.com, and I purchased it I don't remember when I purchased it, but altogether it took um, about two days to come. They have like on their website that if you order before a certain time, they ship the wig out to you fairly fast. So yeah, it didn't take me long to get the wig. This wig it is, uh, when I first got it, it was so poofy. I had to like flat iron the top to like get it soft. It has like a, um, a kinky feel to it that kind of mimics like African-American hair. So yeah, just be mindful that if you purchase this wig with the first few days, it's gonna be really, really poofy. But after flat ironing it for a little bit, I've had this um, wig for a little bit over three weeks and to like maintain it, I've been like flat ironing the ends a little bit and um, flattening the top. It kind of, um, I don't know. I wouldn't say really changed the texture, but it's not as coarse as it used to be. It's a little bit more, it's silkier than what it was before and less poofy. Um, so far, I'm really loving the wig. The only thing that I don't like about this wig is that it is a lot, a lot, a lot of shedding. Which is to be expected when you get um, synthetic hair that's really long. I never really have any problems with when I get short synthetic wigs. It's more so when they're long that it's just combing it out. It gets it gets knotted, so that's to be expected. But other than that, you know, just walk with a little brush in your bag and just brush it out whenever you feel like it's a little knotted on the ends. Another thing that I don't like about the wig is oh the combs. It has two combs right here that sometimes I wear a wig cap underneath this so usually the combs are just sitting there they're not in my hair so sometimes when I comb it and if I comb it too hard the combs will like come through the hair I don't know if that makes sense so I feel like I'll if anything I'll take off these two combs because really and truly they're pointless to me other than that I love the color, I love the length. It doesn't really say on the packaging how long it is, but if I had to guess, I would say it would be maybe 26 to 28 inches. It's pretty long. It's not even showing, I'm on my tippy toes right now and I'm still not in the frame. But yeah, it's pretty long. I think that this is a good everyday wig, even though the length is really long. The only other thing that I would say is do not, do not wear this wig when it's hot as hell outside. I wore this wig the other day and it was like 80 degrees outside and I almost died. Like I legit had to put it in a ponytail because that's how bad it is. So I would say if you're going to be going to the club at night, then yes, wear it. But this is definitely not a summertime wig unless you're going somewhere where you got AC. But yeah. I was hot. I would say that the wig, it comes ready for you to put it on and go. Like I didn't have to do any plucking. 
I didn't have to do anything to the wig. The only thing that I did extra was just add a little bit of concealer. And that was pretty, I cut like maybe like a little piece right up. A little piece right here to make it um, into some baby hair. And that was really pretty much it. But that's just, that's completely optional. You don't have to do that. Other than that, like literally, truly, you do not have to do anything to this wig. Sometimes depending on where I'm going, if I'm going to be out and about doing the most and I'm going to be wearing this wig, I would say that I would probably put a little bit of got to be glued just in the front, just to secure my wig. But other than that, it's if you're not going anywhere special, you're not going to be jumping up and down and doing the most, then you really and truly don't even have to do that. So as far as the construction of the wig, they have two combs in the front, one in the back, and an adjustable strap. So you don't have to worry about your wig not fit if it's not if it's too big or too small. My head is a little bit on the smaller side, so what I do is just crisscross it in the back, and that's how I'm able to get a little bit of more of a secure hold. But overall, I would say that it is a really, really good wig. I'm extremely happy with my purchase. Um, yeah. I feel like for three weeks this wig has been going it's been going strong and i've been wearing it every day of course i've been taking it off at night but I, i've had other synthetic wigs before that's been this length and by like the first week it looks like a nest like that's how bad it is so i would say that the wig is of good quality it'll last you a long time if you take care of it i've even washed it and let it air dry so if you're looking for a new pickup and you're looking for something that's of length then I would say that this is a good purchase again thank you guys for taking the time out to watch my video I hope to see you guys soon bye